<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. Another episode of BBW. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey. Uh, back in the building, I got Angry Principal off the camera. What's up? And of course, I got my man Bo holding it down. I said. And it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Let's get back to this whiskey. All right, so uh, we we on to some uh, some Tennessee whiskey this time. And uh, I don't know about these two, but I'm actually a Jack fan. Even the, you know, even the, the uh, you know. Sorry. The, <laughs> even, the, even the rock good Jack Day. I'm, I'm a fan, right? So uh, Angry Principal <laughs> came up with the uh, Bottled and Bond, Jack. So uh, tell us a little bit about it. And, and how did you find it? Like, you just kind of stumbled upon Walk, it? Walking through Costco, yeah. saw Jack Costco. Day's Bottled and Bond. Yeah. It was 40 bucks. I said, I'm going to try it. Because, you know, normally Jack is 80. Yeah. Proof. So this is a hundred. So right. So it's got to be something. Right. I'm not the biggest <laughs> Jack fan, but the mm -hmm. fact that it was new and it was something different, I said I tried. Yeah. So I say, Bo, you probably about the same. You're not really a Jack fan. I'm not really a Jack fan. You know, I'll drink it from time to time. You know, yeah. a little cookout, a little function, you tailgate, some shit like that. Yeah. Right. But I ain't so, gonna sit like in my house and try to enjoy it. No. <laughs> but they're asleep in New York. I bet they're asleep all over America. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> well, damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so look, let's look at this. Before we even jump into the bottle, what's your expectations? Angry Prince, we'll start with you. I don't know. Okay, so you know the old Jack, the regular Jack basically tastes like Coca Cola. Right? Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's, <laughs> it's Pepsi on with a little alcohol in it. So I'm expecting the same thing, just a little stronger. So, you know, since I love the proof. I'm, so you're thinking I'm, the taste is going to be kind of the same? Yeah, I'm stronger. figuring that's what's, what's going to happen. Um, okay. It's it's something that I just needed to have at the house for right. people mm -hmm. to not necessarily hit my my more the good shit. stuff. The good so, shit. Right. <laughs> so I, I got, got the Jack Daniels. Okay, mm -hmm. I feel you. But what you think? Uh, right around the same lines, you know. I'm expecting it to be, you know, what's this? Is 90 proof, 90, I think. So uh, 100 proof. 100 proof. Yeah. There you go. So, you know, it's gonna be a, have a little bit more bite. You know, yeah. it's gonna be like. Drinking a hot ass Jack and Coke, I think. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I never would have thought about it like that, but all right. Uh, for me, I, I I ain't gonna lie to you. Like um, I, again, like I'm 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 kind of a fan of Jack, but what I'm thinking though is I'm thinking that the hundred proof might actually change the taste a little bit. I think it's gonna taste different. Right? I think Plus, you can get a lot of spice. A lot of spice, spice I think. I can see spice. All right, go ahead and pop the cork. We get a right. sound on that though. I can see that though. Yeah. Pop for the cork. There you go. Right. Sound, sound like Jack. Weak, yeah. yeah, sound like Jack. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? <laughs> pop. <laughs> right in the air, pop for real. It's squeaked out. Squeak, 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 for real. Real life. Bottled and bond. All right, so for people who's uh, checking us out and maybe it's the first time you've seen the show, uh, bottled and bond is normally uh, 100 proof and it's uh, something to do with the government, right? It's government regulations. It's got to be in a warehouse, uh, guarded, and then it can only be proofed to 100, 100 proof. Gotcha. I ain't going to lie to you. It smells sweet. Am I tripping? Let's see what it tastes like. Off, off rib, it, smell, it smells a little sweet. It smells like regular Jack. Mm. Smell like regular Jack. Nah. Nah, it's something sweeter about this. It's something sweeter. It makes, hey, hey, look, you just I'm don't not, like it. No, it's not, it's not that I don't like it. Because, you know, I'll, I'll drink Jack, but I just, yeah. I don't, it's got a little bit more bite than regular Jack. Right, because it's I don't. Proof. It don't taste any sweeter to me, though. It tastes a little sweeter to me. It tastes better than regular Jack. It does. To me, this is much better. Yeah, it does taste better. Again, like, I'm a fan already, though, so. Hmm. I actually, I, I like it. And, and I, I I will tell you this, though. Uh, for it to be 100 proof, it's not as strong as I thought it would be, though. I thought it'd be a little stronger, a little more bite to it. Was it like, Ugh. <laughs> I think when, when you mentioned it about more spice, mm -hmm. I think I was, in my head, I was expecting it, and I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a higher proof. It's got a long finish. It does yeah. have a long finish, yeah. Whereas normal Jack just pays away. Yeah. This is a long finish. It's lasting. It's nicer. I think 
I mean, I don't so, mind it. So, I'll, I'll probably pick up a bottle. So first of all, I, I'll say this. Like, um, for whatever reason, it tastes a little bit sweeter for me. So you already know that makes me a fan. But <laughs> that already makes me a fan. So and it's a it's a but it's different. It's a it's kind of a fruit sweetness. It's not a it's not like the the uh the vanilla or the the, the uh, cocoa sweetness that I'm right. used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but I like it. I like it. So you think you think it's more of a fruit sweetness? I think it's more of a I think it's more of a caramel. You know, m- m- maybe like a for me Maybe like even like 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 a deep chocolate caramel. I don't really, really I don't really taste the the fruit sweetness. Yeah, I don't get the caramel at all. Cause you know when I when I think about um, like that caramel uh, finish, I kind of think about uh, you know my other favorite Evan Williams and shit. <laughs> mm. I, know I, get, I know I get some caramel out of that. Yeah, I get and, it. and this don't really this don't kind of seem the same. It's a it's a light it's a light one hundred proof though. I thought it would be a little bit more oaky. Yeah, I don't really taste that though. Um, I get a little hint of spice, maybe, but like now I said, the, the single barrel. Try it with a cigar. See what the happens. single yeah. barrel is a uh, a little more oaky. But overall, I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm impressed by the finish on this thing. It's, it's lingers. It's uh, it's not bad. It's a good. One. This shit is kind of like the Dog Pound's first album. <laughs> Hold on, what? All the right, Dog Pound's first sense. album, you know what I mean? Like, okay. like, I didn't like it at first. Okay. And then yeah, I wow. listened to it and listened to it like, hmm, it grew on me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, <laughs> first, first of all, it, that's a hell of an analogy. I'm just saying. Because that's, that's, that's one of my favorite albums ever now. And I just remember, you know, when it first came out, I was like, I ain't fucking with this. Yeah. But then like, Let's Play House and shit like that. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, DPG. You know? yeah. The um, dog pound gangster. I ain't gonna lie to you though. I don't know if it's the cigar that I have up. or like it doesn't do anything for me with the cigar. I think it's maybe because it's is even though it's a hundred proof, like I said, it's still kinda light still. So I, it doesn't really do anything as far as, you know, with the smoke for me. I think the only thing that really helps me out with the smoke is like things that are a little more caramel or that or that kind of that cocoa sweetness. So I've heard other people say that they can taste tobacco mm. in the in the bourbon and I've never tasted that before but you smoking it with this mm-hmm. it's bringing out the the taste tobacco becomes real strong when you smoke your cigar with it gotcha whatever reason that tobacco taste so it's bringing out, out a tobacco yeah. taste into the whiskey seriously I don't know if it's hmm. enhancing <laughs> the cigar or bringing it out in the whiskey I'm not sure yet but oh right because it could be either one you're right and for y'all that's wondering I'm smoking the Opus X so. and what we got here right. Trilogy Trilogy Maduro. Yep. So I found these at the, uh, these trilogies, found them at Smokies up on uh, Fortune Lake and uh, Woodward, gotcha. sitting there for the Dream Cruise. Uh, right. the how, was it, how was the Dream Cruise? Oh man, Dream Cruise was amazing. Mu- hey look, first so, of all. Nice ass rise there, huh? Too. Man. First of all, I'll say the this. thing was a 49 Mercury. Oh it man, that's all you got to say thing. right there. so beautiful. First of all, I'll say this. It must have been pretty amazing because I called you and you didn't answer the phone. I was coming. Yeah. Like, I was coming. I really <laughs> was coming. Yes, I called that morning. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull up. And he didn't answer the phone, so I figured it was probably a good time. <laughs> you know time. what? I was playing golf that morning, so <laughs> I, I wasn't even looking at the phone. <laughs> and then I shot straight there. Shout, shout out to playing golf and going to the Dream Cruise. Like, hey, man, that's a hell of a hey, Sunday right there. Right. You know, Saturday, hell of a weekend. Yeah, Saturday. Woke up, played golf, went home, got cleaned up, went up to the Dream Cruise, sat yeah. there till 11 o'clock at night. Gotcha. Man, the only thing show. that would top that off is a visit to the gentleman's club. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman's club. The gentleman's club, not strip club, the gentleman's club. He saw these beautiful black women walking around, singing, dancing, working, living in the nude. Fucking naked. I might want to I might want to have a steak when I'm watching Titties Bounce, you know? <laughs> you know Shout out to the steaks and titties. Steaks and titties. All right, so let's do it, man. You know what we gotta do, though. We gotta go around one time and uh give us some black power fist, dog. So uh Angry Prince, we'll start with you, dog. Uh out of five black power fists. For the uh bottled and bond jack, what you right. say? So I'm glad I bought this for the house. Got gotcha. you. Will I be sipping on this as just a sipper for me? Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. necessarily. Mm-hmm. But if I had to mix it with something, it might go well. Probably gonna give it two and a half. Two and a half. It does have a long finish though. It's, it's a long a very finish long finish though. now that you mentioned. 
So if you were mixing this with something, your favorite drink, your uh, old fashioned or something, this would be a great use for mixing. Okay. But also, because it's 100 proof, it's great for sipping. So gotcha. I'm giving it two and a half. Two and a half. All right. Ball, what you think? So, um, again, along the same lines as, as Angry Principal, right? Um, I wouldn't necessarily buy it just for me to have around the house to sip on. You know, I would buy it if you know, I was making some kind of some kind of drink. You know, I want to use it as a mixer. Or like, yeah, if you're having people over and you don't want to pull out your good shit, you know, like, don't touch my wellers, bro. I'm breaking your fucking fingers, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? So like, so you should like, you know? Right. So, um, yeah, that's why I would buy this. And I probably will buy a bottle or two of this. Um, I give it a solid, solid, solid two black power fish. Yeah. Not something that I would enjoy on a regular, but something that I wouldn't mind, you know, having out for some friends, some people that came by, things like that, right? Gotcha. Like the homies, the homies can get the good shit, but like... Yeah. The friends and family, they can, they, yeah, gotcha. there you go, right here. Okay, I figured it, yeah, so it can definitely be uh, in that category, and again, yeah, 40 bucks is not bad, yeah, yeah 40, 40 bucks, bucks yeah. So, I'm gonna say this, right? So, um, the I am a Jack fan, even a regular Jack, I think this, I see that, damn, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm low key getting ready to pour me just a little bit more but, uh, <laughs> before we move on, yeah, you know, but uh, I did want to say this though, um, bottle and bond is good, obviously, we know that that's 100 proof. Um, I have to be honest with you though, for the, for the price point, um, to be honest, I, I would, I would rather have my, my all time favorite Evan Williams, which is <laughs> half the price, right? So, um, the thing is here, I think that, um, it's, it's a better taste than the regular Jack. So definitely if you want to kind of like the upper echelon Jack, I guess we'll call it, this, mm -hmm. this will work out for you. Um, it's, it's a hundred proof, but it's not the scary hundred proof. So like, even if you aren't used to hundred proof whiskeys, I think you can like the the novice can get by with this like it won't it won't kill you like it won't strangle you. Um, I'm guessing though, uh, with some ice in it, it's probably gonna taste like regular Jack. You know what this point. is a better version of. So if you, if you look at Crown Royal, right, mm -hmm. and Crown Royal a reg regular Crown Royal is what 27, 28 bucks a bottle, something like that. Yep. Crown Royal XR is what 90 bucks, 100 mm -hmm. bucks, right? I would rather drink this than Crown Royal XR, right? And so like this is kind of like the upgraded. You know, Jack Daniels, whereas XR is upgraded, you know, Crown Royal, you know what I mean? Well, so, the, the XR was bad, though. That's, that's, for, that's for the price. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, this so, is better. Yeah, okay, this okay. is a better, you know, like the upgraded version of those two, right? Got you. Which is common whiskeys that like, a lot of people, you know, drink yeah. and whatnot, exactly. right? So, there goes my mic, but. Uh, <laughs> But, but even the mic don't like it. Like, <laughs> the mic like you out of here. Like I don't even like but, this shit. I mean, it, it's uh, it's, it's actually good. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. Now I did have uh, again, like I mentioned before, I had the single barrel uh, Jack, which I think is, I don't think I don't even think it was a hundred proof though, but it seemed to be stronger than this though, which is odd. And also I had the uh, the bottled and bond uh, Jim Bean, which I, I've had that. That's I decent. I feel like actually tastes a little bit better. So yeah. taste wise. Um, this doesn't have the greatest taste. And I'm not a Bean fan, but that yeah. Bottom Bond Bean is, is, is not bad. Yeah. yeah, I've never had that one, so we have to try that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and again, shout out to uh, shout out to my bro, uh, Terrence, rest in peace. Like, he the one who actually bought me the bottle. He brought it mm -hmm. up from Mississippi, and that's how I was able to taste that. But um, for me, I think I'm going to, which is surprisingly, I'm only going to give it two uh, Black Power Fists, only because I think when, when it comes to... And, and I guess it's safe to call it a lower level, uh, 100 proof whiskey. Like it's hard for me not to compare with Evan Williams. And mm -hmm. like for me, when you're looking at uh, kind of like the everyday sipper kind of thing in comparison, I would definitely rather have Evan Williams. But this is a it's a good taste overall. I didn't get the same effect with the uh, cigar. I don't mm -hmm. know if um, I don't know. I, mean, I just don't have the same palate. But I didn't I didn't get the same effect on that. It kind of didn't do anything for the cigar for me. But I, I do like the taste, and this is something. That if I had it around the house, I would, yeah, I definitely would, you know, sip on this uh, you know, a few you, times a week. If you're a Jack fan, then you're going to love this. And that's probably what it is, yeah. yeah. And, but but I'm not in love with it, though. Like, I would probably, if I had if I had to choose any of the Jacks that I've had, I would say that the single barrel was the best out of the ones that I've had. But, like, if this was sitting around, I don't necessarily know if I would go to the store just to grab it, though. Like, yeah, I don't know. Definitely probably just go grab the Evan Williams. Well, this one, this one will be out on the shelf. It mm -hmm. won't be under the cabinet. So yeah. I'll leave it out for And if you know Andrew Principal, 
That's definitely a thing. If it's if it's under the, you got to get permission to go down there. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. This is definitely not gonna be down there. But uh, all right. So you say uh, you say two and a half. Bo says two, right? Mm -hmm. I say two as well. So uh, overall, not not bad. All right. So just to say that. But obviously, you know, everyone has their own palate. So we offer you to uh, you know take a sip and so, try it yourself. So am I wrong? I I'm giving it a two and a half because my ex expectations because were so expectations low. low. <laughs> so right. low. And it's actually doing a little better than than what I expected. I, I, yeah. Could be. I'm going to go ahead and keep it real. Like, I, I, I expected to hate it. I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. All right, right so I'm going I'm to come back to you all. I'm going to go down to 2.25. I don't hate it. 2.25. Yeah, I'll, I'll break it down. <laughs> you said the, the 0.5 <laughs> yeah, was I'll because be, of your expectations. The actual 0.25. It still, right. it still exceeded my expectations. Definitely okay. did. It did that. Yeah. I'll say that much. Yeah, so. Um, shout out to Jack with the bottled and bond that uh, you stumbled upon. So it was a great review for that. Don't forget, if you're watching right now, leave your own review right down at the bottom. And please, if you're watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, make sure you do that. Uh, we're actually going to be coming up with some giveaways pretty soon. And of course, in order to take advantage of those giveaways, you're going to have to be a subscriber. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, so um, that's it. We're going to move on to uh, the next show. Uh, 2.25, 2.0, 2.0. Can I be in a giveaway? <laughs> None of the people who are associated with the show will be a part of the giveaway. But it's, gonna, it's actually, uh, I'm not going to say what it is yet. All right, We'll tell you in the next few shows coming up. Uh, but it definitely will be a giveaway. And all you'll have to do in order to get this uh, this free giveaway is like, share, and subscribe. It's going to be really easy. Duh. All right. So uh, let's get out of here. We're going to sip some more whiskey. Look, I don't know. I generally don't hate this. I mean, <laughs> It's not bad. I thought I was really going to hate first it. First of all, first of all, I'm just mad that both of y'all came into it wanting to hate it. Yeah, like, I, I didn't want to hate it. I expected, expected to hate it. To hate it right? yeah. I wanted to be pissed off because I wasted my money. <laughs> so I can't even say but that. But you like that. It's I, okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not the worst thing we've ever had. <laughs> no, definitely not. No. Yeah, it's definitely has some bad Ooh, stuff. I haven't had some military special vodka for $3 for a half gallon and <laughs> shit. Really? Military special vodka. You go and buy it. Yeah, you buy it at the classic store $3. or military post. This shit was three. Well, it was like three ninety nine or some shit, right? For a half gallon. A military special vodka. You run in the tank. <laughs> oh, what? Ooh. That's definitely kerosene, dude. That was a hell of a night. Let me tell you that, though. <laughs> man. Yo, on that Boy. note, we're out of here, man. Thanks for checking us out. This has been another episode of BBW. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, <clears throat> bourbon, whiskey. Till next time, man. I got angry principal in the building. Drink what you like, how you like. <laughs> I got my man Bo holding it down. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Red zone, baby. We out of here.